looming out of the darkness. Holy shit. I'm ow! Oh! Hello you and welcome back. Today we are playing Baldur's Gate 3. So I just murdered these cultists, which was not ideal, but maybe they were just really bad people. I'm justifying it in my head here, okay? Josh, Josh, Josh. Maybe they simply had to die. <laughs> But I do really want to talk to them while dead because you guys told me if they are glowing <laughs> like this in the dark, I can speak to them with my spell. But the problem is I need to replenish that. So I'm thinking we're going to have a long rest. We're going to talk to our companions and then we are going to move on, talk to these dead folks. And we also maybe can check out this area because I realized like, oh, the map is just like huge, <laughs> huge, huge, huge. I'm sorry, I'm very loud today. I'm just excited to play. I would really like to check out the map here. It seems to be a mountain of some sort or maybe a lake. I don't know, it looks funny. And then we are eventually heading to Karlak because that's again, hunt down Karlak is really something I wanna do because it's Will's quest and it's the closest. <laughs> Mostly because it's the closest. And then eventually we will defeat the goblins, maybe. Or at least rescue Helsin, maybe. <laughs> anyway, let's make take a little bit of a longer rest. We're gonna go to camp. Let's just do long rest because you guys mentioned cutscenes would trigger better this way, apparently, than just simply me going to camp. So we're gonna take a long rest. We're gonna fully replenish everything and move on. Yes, thank you. Long rest. I know I got enough resources because I stole them from that poor guy. <laughs> and here we are at the campsite. Okay, so I got a lot in my inventory. Okay, everybody wants to have a talk with me, apparently. But I can't help it that I'm popular. I am going to put a couple of things in my chest if I can. Why am I walking so slowly? Yes, that's what I wanted. Yeah, I have this loot. <laughs> and apparently I am now proficient in being a bard. Uh, so that's interesting. Yeah, we're gonna put that there because I have another one. Paella is so good. Sorry, not the time, not the time. I really don't need this myself because I have that spell. I'm gonna grab that long sword. Nobody's using them really. Yeah, okay, a mace. I still don't have a shovel, which really pisses me off. Okay, I really need to teach. Ooh, maybe I can just learn. Okay, I really need to. Look at my gold. <laughs> Look at my gold. I love my gold. <laughs> uh, I wanna sell these. Okay, fine. Can I learn this? Oh. Oh, it's only a one-time use then. Single use. Oh, look at that. It's all single use. I didn't know that. Okay, so we don't have to teach guildies. Anyway, let's just talk to our companions. Let's start with Shadowheart. Hi, you got something to say? Finally, some good fortune. Come morning, we know what to do. Oh, really? I, I sure don't. The find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Yeah, I feel you. Me too. But I am curious because it seems to be a special thing in our head and not just a regular worm. <laughs> so, what will come next for you once this is all over? How are you feeling? You know, this could be our last night together. What the fuck? That's coming on a little strong. And I don't think she'll appreciate that. Um, how are you feeling? The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. Yeah. But suppose I turn. What would you do? Whatever you want me to do, baby. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe I could leave you tied up while I hunt it for a cure. Will that work? Probably not. No hesitations. I just end your misery then and there. Well... The thing is, me and Asterion actually have a deal going on that we decapitate each other. Well, he would decapitate me. So if I go first, I mean, I can't help you there. But um, if you happen to turn first, hmm, what would you want me to do? If you turn into a monster, I'd run away. Let's not do this. I don't like hypocritical questions, but I do. <sighs> I don't know. What would you want me to do? Would she like me to end it for her? Do clerics believe in that? <laughs> okay, maybe I could leave you tied up while I hunted for a cure. Really? I'd just kill you. Okay, well, thanks. Great. Anyway, get some rest. <laughs> I try to be nice. 
twice? About tying me up. What did he say? Was whoa? Was that what I thought it was? Were you? Oh, are you coming on to me? Because I'm. I'm here for that. Bloody hells! Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. She's so cute. <laughs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. True, and well, I did reject as him. As for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? <laughs> I think he's hot. <laughs> oh, I think he's literally hot. Hmm, okay. Help us help, no matter the source. Honestly, I'm not so sure. He's a devil. We shouldn't trust him. As simple as that. Oh, but does that mean? Again, I kind of want to know her thoughts. How much? Okay, I got three from wisdom. What if I save? Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. I kind of want to know her thoughts on this, but I also feel like I'm intruding So I want to save so she doesn't get mad at me when I do it. Okay, let me just try it Okay, it's it's not too bad oh, Okay, we can read our thoughts. It's fine. It's fine. We got this. We got this. Okay, great Anticipation. She is testing you somehow about Raphael yeah, well, <laughs> that doesn't really help my case here, though, does it? Hmm, seems you have a particular point you want to make about Raphael. Oh, I'm gonna try that. Let's see what she thinks. Actually, yes, you're right. Very intuitive. Clearly, the devil was trying to sow doubt among us. True. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt is sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. He was the fox, remember? I'm glad I made the right decision then. Who the hell are these people you know who do such things? I didn't realize you were so well-versed in mental and emotional torment. I think I detected a note of admiration in your voice. Shadowheart. I respect his craft. As should you. Well, I, I oh, believe me. Devil? I do. Okay, I want to talk about all that happened to us. Okay, maybe she has something new to say. She doesn't look very happy to me <laughs> right now, but I can try. Fine. What's Ooh. on your mind? Ooh, okay. Huh, how am- okay, we already asked this, I think a few times, but let's try again. I must admit, you've been a surprise, and not an unpleasant one. Oh! Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. She likes me? Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? <gasps> sing my praise- see, she's as shocked as I am, like, oh, we might get a girlfriend out of this one. <laughs> I don't know who I'm going to romance yet, honestly. I want to see all of my companions, and I don't think I have seen them all yet. Okay, well, thank you, Shadowheart. You are my favorite healer cleric of them all. You're also the only one, but that doesn't matter. Ooh, she likes me, guys. Oh, now I can run. Couldn't seem to run like earlier. Okay, so let's talk to my favorite elf boy over here. Hello, pretty boy. You know, oh. Oh. I've been thinking. Oh! Reflecting on what tomorrow might bring when we find the drill. Why are you. Will he know how to bring the worm under control? <gasps> Will this little adventure of ours be over? <laughs> I hope not! With you looking like that? Why is he looking so seductive? Are you joking? I don't know who am I gonna romance, I said. <laughs> Relax, it's just a very pretty man lying in front of you. Wait, oh my goodness, I, I am I am okay. It doesn't have to be, we can still travel together. Probably, once the worm is gone, I am going my own way. I gotta go my own way. What about us? What, will you miss me? Shall we flirt? I'm gonna flirt with everybody, but especially pretty boy. Will you miss me? <laughs> Why not? 
Oh! What's happening? You've been to the hells and back. Survived the crash. Survived everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Really? Me? Have you seen me out there? <laughs> oh, I just whipped everybody else! <laughs> I thought you didn't like me. True, I am pretty impressive. I'm just trying to survive like you. I have many talents if you want. I, I'm too shy for that. I can't. I'm not this direct. If you want to explore them, you're too close. No, he's simply not close enough. Okay, I want to do that, but no. Uh, I thought you didn't like me. I'm kind of curious about that though, because he disapproves everything I do. So now he, he actually likes me? I thought, I'm gonna ask. Because I got the vibe he thought I was annoying. Like so many of you. <laughs> Sorry. You have your charms more than you think. The smile on his pretty lips is a touch too composed, a bit too perfect. Oh! He may not mean a word oh. he says. <gasps> He's a fuckboy! <laughs> Oh, come on, really? He doesn't really like me, he's just playing me? Ah, well now I'm sad. Yeah, now I'm not gonna give in to it. He doesn't like me as much as I like him. <sighs> Why does this always happen? I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, watch yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna tell him to watch himself. How dare you? You're lying to me. But I don't want to reject him either. <laughs> He's a fuck boy. He's a fuck boy. He's ah, but he's so pretty, yo. Fine. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> Sleep tight. I'll see you later. I'm sure. <laughs> you fucking son of a bitch. I hate you. I hate you. I like you, but I hate you. Okay, this is just. Is this enemies to lovers? Let's try and talk again. I'm gonna be mad, but then again, I want to talk to you, so I'm just gonna slowly make my way over. This is not suspicious at all. <laughs> what is she doing? So... I kind of into bad boys. <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. I think this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. We'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. Now I think we should prepare, but... The devil was very tempting, but he's meant to be tempting, reminder. But I don't think it was a good idea to take his deal. He's not, we still have options. If you want to sell your soul, be my guest. No, you're too pretty. He's not, we still have options. We can go to the druid, Helsin, and maybe we can find something along our way. And also, we have to find that crash. So, he's not. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. He reminds me of... You. Well, someone I used to know. You. And someone I like to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. Are you reminded of yourself, somebody you used to know? But you just tried to play me, Asterion. Hmm, we're not his playthings. We'll show him that. So, what do we do now? You might not be able to outfox him, but I will. <laughs> I doubt. We're not his playthings. We'll show him that. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary Mind Flayer parasite. Who tampered with it, and why? What do they have planned for us? Yeah, you're and right. And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. Hmm, why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking at our door? He's right. And the tadpole has been tampered with, and it's really intriguing why that is. We simply just don't know yet, but we're about to find out. Can we talk a little bit more? Yes. <sighs> too pretty. You know, you're you're staying with me. <laughs> you're too pretty. It's fine, okay? You might be a fuck boy. But he's a very pretty fuck boy. <laughs> oh my life. Okay. Hi, beautiful, beautiful, amazing, gorgeous warrior lady. I love you. A fine oh. evening, don't you think? 
Oh, yes. The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> Would that I were doing battle up there. Among the tears. Among the tears? Why is everybody so pretty and beautiful? It's just, I'm like simping left and right, which is not new, but this game especially. What do you mean by the tears? Fyron isn't so bad, give it a chance. You want to do battle up where? Can you explain the tears? Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. What? Oh. Are all Ginyanthi from the tears? It must be quite a shock to leave your crash, be crash behind and arrive here. I'm more curious about this. Your curiosity is to be commended. Thank you. Ginyanthi are hatched in crashes all throughout realm space. Clear is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vash's command. But enough of this. What? No! You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. But I like talking to you. I'm really interested, interested in her culture. And about the red dragons. The dragons are evil, right? At least the red dragons are. Because in the first episode, I was like, oh my gosh, I love these dragons. And you guys were like, no, these dragons are evil. And I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, yeah, did you not? Yeah, I did. Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Kithnarak? What's that? Ah, uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I have so many questions. It's so interesting to learn. Okay, Kithrak, what does that mean? Well, we have no dragons at our disposal now, I'm afraid. I found Raphael rather impressive, even if you didn't. He might lead us to a cure, show him some respect, just in case. Fuck no, he might be hot, but that's about it. I'm curious about Kithrak. What does it mean? Githyanki Knights. The riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my oh. Queen Vlakith's will. Knights? Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. You want to be a knight? I will earn my Queen's favor. And I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. She reminds me of myself. I always wanted to be a knight. Aww. Why were these knights chasing the Mind Flayer ship? The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase, to penetrate the hells. This is unusual. Mm. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Blackhead's sight pierces the many planes. So intriguing. Her culture is just so intriguing. E everything about this is intriguing, but it's nice to learn more. Chuk, be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? I figured. He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Yeah, she's really pressuring me to go there instead of the druid. I figured she wouldn't want me to even go towards Helsin, but I really would like you to join me, but I can't. <laughs> I, I can't really right now, I'm sorry. But yeah, she is just putting all of her hopes into the crash. Well, I am very intrigued about this missing druid as well, but I'm not gonna tell her that because she's gonna be mad at me. Okay, well, we know what's up there. Hello, Will. Um, what you drinking? Can I have some? Dark One's Blessing. A tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. What? Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brain worms have made fast friends, it would seem. What? They like each other? How do you feel? What? Surprisingly fine in spite of it all. Nervous. I don't like the idea of that thing in my brain. Confident, no tiny tadpole will getting the best of me. I'm more interested in how you feel. Hmm, well, obviously I don't like the idea of that thing in my brain. 
surprisingly fine. But we're, you know, it's just curious that we are all surprisingly fine and we haven't turned yet. I mean, I like my pretty face. I'd like to keep it. I spent hours on it, so... Hmm, I'm a little bit nervous, though. It's natural to suffer a touch of worry, but an illithid worm should be causing more than mild anxiety. How are you feeling? Before the illithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that... Really? I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. But it's weakened some of his powers. Are my powers somewhat weakened too? Something special about us, or at least about our tadpoles. It makes no sense, I know. Why haven't we turned? We could probably dig up some poison mushrooms if you're keen to be sick. Hmm. It makes no sense. No, I think something is special about our tadpoles. Indeed. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. <laughs> Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Mm, doubt. Or Perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could turn. conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. True. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. Intriguing. It's really nice to speak to all of my companions about this, and they just have so much to say. It's really nice, isn't it? The devil with the silver tongue. You liked him? <laughs> An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. So most of them, then. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. Oh. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? So he traded his daughter for the endless purse? With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Get to the point, would ya? You mean Raphael? We should at least consider his offer, given our circumstances. Spare me the parables. I have no intention of arguing with the likes of him. So, Will is just simply worried we will be trading something very precious. Our soul for the endless purse. A cure for the tap hole. With the right teacher, yes. I'm curious about your thoughts, Will. Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer. No matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost is always too great. I wonder if he will return anytime soon, because they are continuously warning me not to do it. Even Asterion was like, maybe not. He's toying with us. I don't like it when people toy with us like that. He only toys with you because he knows he can win. Don't worry, I have no interest in taking the devil's deal. He spoke of a cure. We have to at least hear him out. No cost is too great if it rids me of this infection. I don't trust Raphael. <laughs> Not the slightest. But I do really want to see him again. Because his voice actor is simply amazing and the character is very intriguing. But don't worry, I have no interest in taking a devil's deal. That's because you still have hope. I do. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. This is deep shit, bro. <laughs> well, it, wow. I'm so impressed by the voice actors. I'm just drawn in. He'll take everything. I know. It's a deal with the devil. It always bites you in. Yes. I mean, I have seen the House of Usher. Have you? <laughs> All right. Well, let's have that. Hello, Gail. It's been a moment since we talked. What's this about you eating my magical items? I really don't like that. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Right. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest. Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, 
rather important. What? The devil? The tadpole? What would you like to know? The druid? Rather important, no less. All right, go ahead. Whatever it is, do make it brief. You called me stupid. I like Gail. Hush, hush, hush. There's no rest for the likes of us, Gail. But what are we doing now? We're having a long rest, so you're not making much sense. <laughs> anyway, rather important, no less. All right, you go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Two days. <laughs> Survived some perils. Overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. Yeah, you saw the way that. You got Korga to release the girl. The way you got that boy out of a harpy's clutches. Whoa. In short, I've grown to trust you. He wasn't even there half of the time, to be honest. But you can always see Gil popping up like he approves. Is he using, like, foresight or is he, like, teleporting his eye somewhere? What's, what's with that? Because he's the only one who can do that. Hmm, that's very gratifying to hear. Enough with the flattery. Where is this going? Can't say the <laughs> feeling's exactly mutual. You know what? Thanks, I guess. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. Oh boy. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. What? What is it? What kind of condition? Is it contagious? Like, back away, you loser. <laughs> Can it be cured? So you've been lying to me this whole time. Wonderful. Ah, druid. Nature provides the cure to most ailments. Tell me your symptoms, and I might prepare a poultress or a potion. I don't think he will like that, though, because he's like, <laughs> Druids, <laughs> they're not real mages. You haven't been to school, so I don't think he'll like that. I'm just gonna ask if it can be cured. No, it cannot be cured. And I assure you, I've left no page unturned in reaching that conclusion. Right. I can keep this condition under control, as indeed I've done for a significant amount of time, but that was under different circumstances altogether. Home. What, it what is it? What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. No! No! It's mine! <laughs> you cannot have my staff! You die! <laughs> <laughs> no! So that is what it is all about. Why does he want to eat my magical items? You know what? What happens if you don't? What, what happens? Your illness causes you to consume raw magic? I'm going to need the details. Yeah, you're not giving my stuff just like that. What kind of items are we talking about exactly? Wouldn't that ruin the item? What happens if you don't consume these artifacts? Are you telling me you're addicted to magic? I'm gonna need the details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. What do you mean? Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. Yeah, uh, what? It's been days since I last consumed an artifact. And before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. Oh, come on. That is why I turn to you. What? I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. Are you an addict? <laughs> what? Where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? What? I don't want to give my magic items to him. I want to use them. I fail to see why you need me to help you with this. You've done fine without me so far. I'd be happy to help. Sounds like no condition I've ever heard of. I just say you're just fishing for loot. I don't think so, but he seems rather addictive. Addicted to magic. What if he's trying to trick me in saying it's of very high importance, but he's simply addicted? I want to trust him, obviously, but okay. What do you? Where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? Probably just from loot. We've already done the finding. In fact, no. You have one in your possession. It's not happening. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. What? You. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. You're not getting my item. <laughs> No! Why? Why? I don't want to give him my staff. 
I expected as much. Don't worry, I'm happy to help. Why exactly would I risk either of those things for a wizard I barely freaking know? So you've been trying to riz me up. You've been complimenting me this entire time. So you can eat my magical items? And at the end of that, I lose a valuable artifact? No thanks. Honestly, that sounds terrible. I see no upside to this for me. I really fucking don't. <sighs> ah, I want to help him because he seems sincere, but I don't want to give my items. I'm mad. <laughs> Do I have to give him shit? Fine, I'll give you shit, but I want a better staff afterwards. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I feel like he's playing I'm sure we me. We won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. No! We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I don't like this. I hope I can count on you. Uh, why are you looking at me like, oh, I hope I can count on you? Do I have to give it to him now? I don't want to give it to him at all. <laughs> but it's going to get worse if I don't give it to him soon, right? That's what he mentioned. What the hell, Gale? Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. Oh, you like that? Did not expect that. Well, he is a mage. Okay, I failed Arcana, which is unfortunate. You have a strange definition of flattery. Dining with a devil left a bad taste in my mouth. Well, we didn't actually eat something. You're familiar with devilry, then? Hmm, I'm intrigued. Um, I've never met a devil, but of course I've read a great deal about them. At your school? Even right. Even feigning a mortal form, it was easy to detect the whiff of sulfur about him. Mm, to spot the flicker of hellfire in his eyes. Were you there? Because you weren't there. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. Interesting. I think he wants something from us. Badly. Good take there. And that knowledge lies our opportunity. Ah, oh, he's simply mirroring his own desperation. I didn't think about that. Yeah, because why is he offering us all of this to help us with the tapple? I simply assumed that he liked toying with several victims because that is what he does. He gets his enjoyment out of that, making deals. But what if he needs something from us instead and he is desperate like Gail mentioned? That is an interesting take. All I'm hearing is conjecture. But what is it that this devil wants so very badly? I'll remind you that when dealing with a devil, you always draw the short straw. I think so, but I'm also very curious about this. What is it you think he wants? Our souls. I suspect that's but his opening offer. Yeah. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. What? If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. A quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. <laughs> so he's the only one who is open to dealing with the devil. So if I want to deal with Raphael, I'm going to bring Gil with me. <laughs> so he can offer some guidance. And he'd probably be on my side a little bit. Okay, it's good to know. What do you think Raphael's ambition could be? And how do you propose we beat a devil at his own game? Yeah, you got that right. Hmm, I'm thinking about the ambition. So we, if we learn more about the ambition, maybe we can use it to our advantage? Upcoming? I, I don't know. Let's see. I'm in the foggiest. Oh, but right. based on the evidence before us, we can make certain deductions as to why he sought out our merry band. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Mm -hmm. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Right. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. He wants it. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. We would be a weapon. So, I say right. for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again. And when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Interesting. Remember his Cormerian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. <laughs> well, I can turn into a bear if you really want me to. But okay, this is really interesting. I hope we get to see Raphael again. 
I'm intrigued. But yet, they did mention we would be a weapon. Our tadpoles would turn us into a weapon. So maybe that is what Raphael would want. What's going on? I, I, ah, I'm, I'm so intrigued about the story. It's really good. How can I help? Okay, mm, I, ah, oh, I don't want to give it to you. I'm just gonna ask. I was wondering what con that condition of yours. Why does it require magic? Think of it as tribute, the kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. Are you as possessed? long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. Is he possessed? I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. Interesting. I'm not gonna give it to him yet. I'm sorry. I really want to think about this And I don't want to give him my staff frankly honestly, maybe if I find something else that is less interesting to me I'll give it. I'm just gonna travel around a little bit more before we do that Huh, I can also talk to you But you would just give me your services, right? Fate spins along as it should. Withers, how you doing, Withers? Have a good night. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? I'm actually fine, thank you. Uh, yeah, I could talk about the Hirelands. Can you help me change my class? I'm good for now. Okay, I was wondering if he perhaps had something new to say as well. Look how beautiful it is here. Even camp is pretty. Okay, so I'm guessing we're good. We talked to all of our companions. We are going to move on because my uh, resources should be fine now. Sorry, I had to think about that. I had a little brain fart. Sometimes, even with all of the English I speak, sometimes I'm like, okay, I speak three languages. Which, which word is it? <laughs> anyway, let's go to bed. Yeah, so we got 40 again. Oh, that's already good. Stout stew, mixed coffee, fishy. I wanted to have an exact no fuck. So that's 30 already. Jeez, that's a lot. Okay, hold on. Yes! Mwah! This is a mini game all of itself. Love that. Good. Oh, look at them napping, being a cutie patootie. Okay. <laughs> That's just them waking up. I get it. Okay, and we're good to go. Look at us. Look at us. I don't think we have anything new to say, but I now know we got this back. Speak with the dead. Love that for us. And we can do our wild shape again. Okay, wonderful. We're gonna leave camp, people. Let's go. Leave camp. That was a good, good resting period. We talked a lot. We got to know our companions a little bit more. And now, oh, can't I speak to them anymore? Are they have they been dead too long? You think? <laughs> oh no, we can try, right? But he won't like me. He won't like me if I talk to him in this form, right? So what if? What oh, no. if? Oh my god! Ew! What? Well, ew! What is that? Well, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Why am I here? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna jump. Shut up, it's fine. Shut up, it's fine. It's fine. God damn it, I should have done this before the long rest. I bet you. Okay, well, now we just need Will. Oh, God. Yeah, I know it's acid. Shut up. I just need you to get down there, okay? Just get fucking down there. Fine, it's fine. Just go. Just go. Okay, wonderful. Alive. Okay, so but progress. they won't like me. <laughs> Guys, come on. What are we fucking around here for? I should turn into something else. I can give him the scroll. Wait, I have a scroll. Sorry. Give me a sec. I have a scroll and I'm gonna give it to Asterion so he can talk to them. Hold on. Uh, speak of the dead. I'm gonna send it to you so you can use it. And well, I, I can turn into... Hello. I can turn into somebody else. Let me... Were you already a mosque elf? Let me go into a female elf. Wait. Wait. 
Aren't you exactly the same? <laughs> Why are you exactly the same, babe? Okay, well, that didn't really work. Uh, okay, Dragonborn, sure. Yay, that's much better. And I can do this now because I have a scroll. I'm gonna use it on you because I killed you. I didn't kill you, so you wouldn't know. Let's just see. Nice! We got it! We got it. This is so cool. Look at him! The corpse regards you lifelessly. Oh, that's all. Who are you? What were you doing in that forest? Well, we already know how, how, how he died. That was me. It was me! What were you doing in the forest? Serving the absolute. Following her true soul. Yeah, but you died, didn't you? <sighs> what is a true soul? The Absolute's chosen few. My brother, they hear her words. Yeah. I think you have limited amount of questions, so... Tell me more about the Absolute. Our leader. Our goddess. Our future. Bow to her, or die. <laughs> Am I gonna ask this? <laughs> How did you die? I know that. But who are you? Just talk a I, I wanna have as much information as I can. Brina, faithful servant to the absolute. And that's that, I think. Oh, I have one more question. How did you die? Serving the absolute. Following her true souls. <laughs> Not me. Good. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Wow, that was intriguing. I really like that he can change into all of these amazing new species. Now. Okay, I did not kill him. So I don't know if he's going to be mad because I did kill his followers, but uh, or at least their siblings. Speak to the dead. <laughs> Let's see if he's mad or not. The corpse regards you lifelessly. All right, let's see. Who are you? Hmm, what were you doing there? Is there anything valuable around here? Oh, let's ask. Bruno. <laughs> and they did. Sorry. They really did. Sorry. I know who they are. What are you doing here? What were you doing here? Her weapon, the tadpoles, us. It's all coming together. What do you know about this weapon? Crashed from the sky, taken by. Infidels. It's such a mystery, isn't it? It's so cool. Taken by infidels? What well, can you tell me about the absolute? Do not fight her power. Such power. How cool is this? I really want to know more. Okay, so... Fine. Sister. My job to protect them. Yeah, but I got them killed. Apologies. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. This is so sad. I mean, I feel like they were all brainwashed by this absolute. But, oh, man. It's sad because he was meant to protect them and like two seconds later after he dies they also die by my hand anyway i'm gonna do a little safety safe because we've done a lot of talking and now we are going to check out south of the map right here i know what i know we gotta go here okay i know you're already complaining like oh my god you're like in act one i get it shut shut up <laughs> i know I just want to see what's happening all around. I like to explore. Huh. This is intriguing. 
Okay, we can go here. What is that? This is so beautiful, isn't it? What is... Oh! Is this where you landed? Or at least where maybe Lazarel landed with her tapple? An empty mind flare vessel. If its occupant survived, then nowhere to be seen. Yeah, well, maybe it was one of us. We don't know. It could be Asterion, could be Will. There were a lot of people here. Pick up. Belladonna. All right, hold on. Yeah, we got more here. There you go. I forget, I keep forgetting to do that. A question. Yeah. Our master monster hunter. How would you approach killing a vampire? To start, lure it into the sun, drive a stake through its heart. Why? Why? Just curious. Asterion. Well, that's curious. Now I'm like, is he potentially a vampire? Okay, why are my legs like that? Okay. Can I move? Can I cross the river? Hey, leather boots? Sure, let's pick them leather boots up. They're mine now. I can also grab that. Oh, right, I still need to do alchemy, people. Still need to do some alchemy for some poisons. Potions. Maybe poise potions too. Poisons. It's all fine. Aww. There's a cave there. Do we like the cave? Will we go to the cave? Oh man. Owlbear traps. Oh! This nest must be nearby. Owlbear! I see them! <gasps> Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. <laughs> oh, do we have to fight again? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's try. <gasps> oh, we're so gonna die. I feel we are gonna die. Owlbear nest. I don't want to kill the owlbear though. Why? Whoa, whoa, but it killed that dwarf, didn't it? Hello? Are you a nice owlbear? You simply didn't like the cultists, right? Pickaxe. Oh, there's a corpse there. That stench. Dead owlbear prey, no doubt. Well, let's loot him. Ooh, he's got, like, kind of a lot. Kind of a lot of money. Heavy stone. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa, look at that. Interesting. Oh, oh it's right there! Oh, did you see it? Oh! Oh, it's magnificent! Do we- I don't want to fight it, though! Oh my god! Okay, okay. Everybody stay calm. I don't want to fight it. Oh, do we have to fight it? Can we talk to the owlbear? <gasps> it has cups! You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owlbear. Its beaked face looming out of the darkness. Holy shit! I- ah! Oh, we can speak to animals. We can speak to animals. Animal handling. Study the owlbear's behavior. Survival back away. Performance. Pop of your chest in war. Nope. We're gonna do animal handling. I'm gonna guide. Shit. 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 No. Fuck no. 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 And no. No. I, I don't even care. I don't- oh, sh maybe I had an inspiration, actually. And I don't care, I'm gonna reload that. <laughs> Fuck no, I wanna do this right, I'm not gonna hurt the owlbear. It- I should've quick saved before I made the- ah. I'm gonna quick save. Let's try again. Come on. Okay, yay! <laughs> totally didn't cheat, yay! The owlbear's one good eye flicks away for a moment. You follow its glance oh. and see an owlbear cub. Oh, they're so sweet! 
I'm not gonna move towards the cup because that might be aggressive. Back away slowly. I'm not gonna attack it. I wanna be friends with the owl bears. I mean, no harm, really. The owl bear stares, then sharply inhales your scent. It sits back, its eyes still fixed on you. A silent ultimatum. You can leave now, or step closer, and die. I, I'll back away. I'll, wep, I'll back away. Don't worry. But I want to talk to the owlbear. I'm not going to kill it. My goodness, did you see how cute it is? I'm going to look from a distance. He's just protect- she is just protecting her cop. Oh my god! I wish we could do more with the owl bear, but I don't want to risk killing it, or it killing me, <laughs> probably. Oh my god, it's beautiful! But there's loot to be had here, right? Oh... I, I, I can jump, right? Right? Oof. Oof. Okay, but one of us might be stronger. <laughs> it's not gonna be me. Let me just try if he's better. Yeah, he's a little better, so... Oof! Kill the chest? There's so much here! Oh, we're fine. <laughs> We all failing. We all failed. Where's Gail? Do we want to open this? I don't know, man. Should we? I don't. I, we might die. We might die if we do this. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Saloon seal. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm really fucking worried. Oh no! I knew it. Shit! What happened? What can I do with it? Detect thoughts. Alright, I'll take that. Can you all fucking move? Okay, so that really hurt me. But I wanted to try. What's this? A dusty volume that speaks of the conflicts between a sibling goddess, Saloon, and Char. After Saloon ignited the sun and brought life sustaining light and warmth to the universe. Do you want light? Is that what you want? Ooh, give me that potion of healing, thank you. Do you have a shovel, perhaps? Animal speaking, I'll take that. I'm just robbing, but I want this! How do I get that? Do you want, like, the light? Moonbeam? Yeah, but it's a sunbeam. You think if I put a spell on it, it will work? Okay. Intriguing. Oh. Oh, no, this is the owl there. Nope. How can I do that? I need a religion check. Why isn't that you, babe? Hmm. You would think that Shadowheart would do that, but guess not. Alright. Well, can I get back up, Asterion? You're the. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> I need to see your pretty face again, so I'm gonna dismiss this. And thank you, babe. Okay, so you're gonna have to jump for us, okay? Because yay, yes. no problem. Oh my god, look at you! <laughs> Good job. All right, so that wasn't too hard. Oh, whoa. Okay, did you have to make that extra jump? I'm sad that we can't do that. I'm gonna try it one more time if we can. Could I just? I didn't even have to jump, did I? Oh my god, you gotta be shitting. I want the ch- ah, I, I think I feel all the checks. That's so sad. I didn't even have to jump. I didn't even have to jump, did I? God damn it. Fine. Fine. What if I go back? What if that happens? I'm just- I really want that chest. I really want it. This sucks. So I'm gonna enter- exit the cave and enter again. Have you wondered what people will say when- when they find out the monster hunter is becoming a monster? I faced countless perils and conquered them all. This will be no different. I've always had a soft spot for the confident one. Hey, I thought you liked me. <laughs> oh, they always disappoint. That's nice. That's really nice. Do. I'm gonna try Shadow Heart. Maybe her religion check will help. I'm gonna try one more time. Fuck it. Fuck it. 
I want to know if it works. I want that chest. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Oh, we all failed it? Really? Well, that really fucking sucks, doesn't it? Are you joking? Well, fine, we'll move on, but I'll be back. I still need to find a shovel anyway. Ugh, that sucks. That really bloody sucks. And look at my health, damn it. Look at the sacrifices I made for nothing. But I really did love that owl as there. As much love as I hold for Baldur's Gate, these frontiers delight me as much as any bustling street. Wow. Okay, thank you, Will, for that. <laughs> thank you. Okay. I haven't even had a bath since the abduction. I must reek of a little slime. Oh, baby, poor you, but you're sure. still beautiful. Well, think of the stories you'll be able to tell. What? Of sweat and dust and ugly? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, we can go up here. This is good. This is very good. You guys okay? Awkward. There's a lot here. I'll take that. And I'll take that, even though I haven't done alchemy yet, but I'll take all of that. Ooh, what's that? I'll take the berry bush. Thank you. See, berries for our campsite. Ooh, we got fish. Cruel words strengthen neither heads nor hearts, Shadow. I wouldn't quite say that. They learned the lesson, that after all. And came to resent your tutor, I bet. I taught them to fight, not to hate. I suppose so. There's a lot to be said about teaching and also parenting. Everyone has got their own way that they believe is best. Do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate this time? Ooh. A sweetheart, perhaps? Now I'm intrigued. What are you freaking out? The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. <gasps> Shit, you know what I've forgotten? Slimmer How dare you look at me? Have you looked at me? You know what I forgot while speaking to the owlbear? Fuck, fuck, I'm so mad. Oh my god, can you can you help? <laughs> I, c I could have done this. What I don't understand is this though. Why do you have one and two? Is this one more potent? I'm gonna try. What the fuck? The Blade of Frontier's toughest kill. Ah, it was a great scrap. A hungry minotaur with a hankering for human You guys are talking so much, look at that! Bearing mountain of fur she was. Gave me a nasty scar. I hope you don't mind if I don't ask to Wait. see it. Guys, okay, minotaur stories are amazing. It's my favorite mytho- Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna go back to the owlbear. But... Are you okay? Did your owner die? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. You don't want my help? What happened here? I told, I told you, you to go. go. I want to help you. For superior. Oh, he's, he's grieving, isn't he? I understand your fear, but I promise I mean you no harm. Calm, friends. I mean you no harm. I want to. Mm. I mean you no harm. Druid. Add a bonus! Let's go! This better be it. This better be it. Bitch. Oh, barely! Jesus! <sighs> mm. There's death in your scent, but not in your words. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. He's dead. My darling, he's dead. The rest he needs a grave. That's so mean. I don't think he's going to wake up, my love. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. I'm so sad for you. What's your name? What happened to your friend exactly? Come on, you can travel with me if you like. Prove the menace shout at this corpse. Oh no. What happened to your friend? We were attacked. We're cackling furry things on two legs. Now bear. And the smell. It was strange. Rotten. Evil. You know the creatures he describes. No. Oh. It's not the owlbear, thank God. What's your name? 
What is your name? He calls me Scratch. You can do the same. Oh, the little wiggle of his tail. Oh, you can travel with me if you like. No, I won't leave him. I know he wasn't. If he doesn't wake up, follow my scent. I have a cab. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. Oh, please, no. No, no, no. I feel so sad. Yeah, but now I can talk to the dead because I need to do a long rest for it again. That sucks. I want to talk to so many dead people. I want to talk to the owlbear too. Do I have another spell? Do I have another spell? Do I have another spell? I don't have another spell. I need more dead spells, people. Shit. I feel so sad. I can recast. I don't understand. I'm gonna try and speak to the owlbear again. Maybe he doesn't like me. Maybe I already fucked up. I probably should quick save, don't I? Yeah, I should probably quick save. <laughs> Give me a second. I know there's a lot of quick save. Shut up. I really wanna try and speak to the owlbear now that I actually have my animal shizzle on. I forgot to put the animal shizzle on because I did the long rest. I hope I didn't fuck up. I hope I didn't fuck up, because now he gave me a si- She- She gave me a final ultimatum. Oh, I might die. I might fucking die. Oh. Okay, let's try. Can I speak? I just wanna- Speak. The stress. I warned you, soft mate. You don't listen. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, no! Fuck. Yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. Damn it. Damn it, I'm so upset. No. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Guys, I don't care what you think of me. I'm gonna do it over again. I don't even care. I really don't care. I wanna talk to the owlbear because I forgot to put my animal thing on. I got it. Shh. We also have a new chance with the chest now. So don't talk to me. Don't, don't argue with me. I want to speak to the owlbear. You cannot be mad at me for it. No, no, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Shut up. This is not like Mass Effect, okay? I just want to talk to the freaking owlbear. I can speak to the animals. I can speak to the animals now. Okay, okay, let's try this again. Shut up. I want to speak to the owlbear. It would be a shame if I didn't use you my feel spell. feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owlbear. Its beaked face looming out of the darkness. What's this? <gasps> Something weak. Something tender. There you go. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. Oh, great. She's very lovely, isn't she? You're- Oh, you're injured. There's still half a spear lodged in your head. Sorry, wrong cave. I'll be going. Move closer. You've had your last meal, beast. You and your cup alike. Nah, nah, nah. You're injured, madam. It's a splinter. I've got a bigger threat than you with worse. I would like to help you if I can. Let me go or you'll watch your cup die before I finish you. Persuasion, just allow me to leave. I am no threat to you or your cup. Hmm, you need rest. Let nature heal you. This is no time for a fight. Let's do that. Add bonus. <gasps> oh, it's not a d very difficult one. I say that I jinx it oh my god <laughs> come on I'm a roll again are you joking it's not difficult and then I throw a one I sh it's so difficult all of these are so difficult fight you'd be a plaything not worth the trouble you can go but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. Okay. So it wasn't much there after all. I was hoping we could maybe help the owlbear. But it wouldn't let me. But it at least let me go again. But now we can try and do the stupid chest again. Ah. Uh.
I don't want to hurt the owlbear or its cup. Okay, so now we know Looks we can simply it. climb oh, down. See, we're learning. We're learning. This better be it. Be religion, religion. It's a lunar statue in a stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. Let's see. Yes! There's magic at play here. A spell keeping this chest shut. So what do you want me to do? Read. Yeah, but it's a spell. But what can I do with this spell? That's my question. Hmm, maybe something with the statue? Alright, let me try and jump. Let me see if there's something here, because there's a path here. Oh, reception built. What's this? Ancient tomb detailing how Saloon came into being along with her sister, Shard. A silver radiant Saloon and the dark alluring Shard complement each other and brought an orderly distinction between light and dark in the universe. What? But there was a perception check that I fucking failed again. Ah. Uh. Have a lot on my mind. What if well, there was something really. there? Hey, see, this is what I meant. A prayer dictated to Saloon, imploring all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessings and share in her bounty. Just an old prayer. What? Oh my God! Why did I fail that? Come on. I keep failing shit! Okay, hold on. Maybe if I give the prayer to somebody else. Ugh. This is so much. Okay, um, sent to Shadowheart. Salunite prayer. How useful. Oh, come- Are you serious? There's no time to waste. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, okay. What if? What if? Ability checks. What if I give it to you? Okay, so I gave him guidance. Maybe if I gave him the cha- Oh, this is such a- Fuck. Probably not. The same symbol as the chest. A prayer to open it. I prefer a blood offering. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're finally getting somewhere. A prayer to open the chest. How do we pray? Hmm. Do we read it again? A prayer to open the chest. Praying could be useful. I would have started years ago. <gasps> it worked! Shut up! It worked! You should leave it. Or even destroy it if possible. What? Why? What? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've gone through all of this trouble for what? Why? Don't be ridiculous. There could be something useful in it. Why? This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows? Could be cursed. But I want it! <laughs> Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. But we've done so much! Why do you care so much? I'll do as I please. If you want to try stopping me, be my guest. We can't just abandon resources that we might need. Be sensible. I want it. <laughs> what if she uses guidance? <laughs> I kind of want to see why do you care so much. But I want it. <laughs> but I want it! Quick save. I <laughs> don't even care. Fuck it, I want it. Oh, she won't help me with that, huh? Yeah, figured. Are you joking? I need it. I deserve this, okay? I deserve this. We are never gonna hunt down Karlak. <laughs> never. It's not gonna happen, is it? Come on, give it to me. Shitting me. Fuck it. Try again. I I made it. Barely, but I did. I did it. Shush. Oh, fine. Perhaps you can sell them for a couple of coins. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It worked though. Fuck it. It hurts. 
What hurts? Mysterious condition? <gasps> well... Fuck it! <laughs> we are definitely cursed, but fuck it! Listen, we don't care. We don't care. Shall we check what we got? Okay, hold on. So, we got this amulet. Withering Dance. When the wearer has 50% hit points or less, they don't provoke opportunity attacks. Gil can... Ah, oh, fuck Gil. Okay, I'm gonna move it to Shadowheart. She'll love that, honestly. She'll love it. She'll love it. She'll love it. I got that. I also got this scroll. This tomb describes the ancient initiation rites observed by some who worship the moon goddess Saloon. When a youngster came of age, they would be left to fend for themselves deep in the wilds. There, they would show their skills of navigation and self-reliance, as well as their determination to return to the moon made in silvery glow. Once they found their way to their people, their fate, and standing as a follower of Saloon would be beyond any doubt. Worthless. <laughs> Why are you saying worthless? Okay, what's that? Bloodstone. Squeeze the stone if the edges are sharp enough. I also got this idol of Saloon. <sighs> She's so mad. And she has a really odd condition she right now. <laughs> Sorry, Shadowheart. We're fine though, right? So we've done a lot now. Interesting. As as At least we key. got the chest. As much as any bustling street. Listen, I'm kind of happy we went back. Not gonna lie, because now I got the chest. We might be cursed. <laughs> but I, I'm not the one who's cursed. <laughs> Okay, we're back here. I kind of want to talk to you. I don't want to loot him, but what is, what's this about the recast? Because I can't use it. It's not available. I believe I just have to do a long rest again, but I just did one! We're also in difficult terrain. Wishcats. <laughs> mm, Murgrass. There's so much happening here. I want to talk to that, that person. Well, at least I talked to the dog. Yeah, that's the cave mouth. You're on top of that. Oh, there's a lot of things happening here. Oh, it's... I saw you training those children. You're so gentle. Oh, a bronze <laughs> ring? Not how I was taught. Cruel words strengthen neither heads nor hearts, Shadow Heart. I wouldn't quite say that. They learned a lesson, not at all. And came to resent your tutor, I bet. I taught them to fight, not to hate. Okay, so... Oh. Hello. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. What happened? Okay, well, I got pig meat! Nom nom nom! The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. <laughs> Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. Oh, you love it when I do that. Medicine. Oh. Interesting. Examine. Add bonus. Let's pray to the gods. Ha! See? Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Little bit to worry about. It's fine. We did it. The boar seems to be fresh. Only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. I don't see anything. And is it dead enough for you? I don't see anything, but it's very curious. Asterion? Is he a vampire? Because he was speaking to Will about what would you do if you wanted to kill a vampire and now he doesn't want me to look at the boar. These marks are strange. You was he hunting? You know something about this, don't you? I'm gonna try and ask him. Quick save. <laughs> it's my friend. Do you know something about this? I wanna know, Asterion. What have you done? Are you a vampire? Is he a vampire? Because that would be interesting. I... It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. Is it you? I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. You would know, wouldn't you? But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. You are such a vampire, isn't he? If he's not, I'd be surprised. He 
He's a vampire. He's a vampire. Oh my god, that's why he didn't want me to look. No, he wasn't concerned. No, 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 Asterian. Hey, somebody's dead here. That tiefling? Okay, perception failed. Let's loot him anyway. Okay, well, he got cheese. Oh, what happened here? There's so much going on. Why am I walking? I want to run. Why am I walking? Hello? Hmm. What happened? Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Dead everything. Were they heading to the druid's grave? Drawing? Actions? Read. Drawn in thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures, a goblin with sparks in his hands, a squire, a humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf. Each of them is wearing a simple crown. We can maybe talk to them as well, if I could do my speak to the dead. But I don't want it constantly wrong. long rest. Okay, well, we got that. He's not empty. He's got gold. Not a much, but it's something. Hey, charm a person. You don't happen to have a scroll of the dead, do you? Interesting. Goblin hyena ear. Oh, it's for potions. I know that. This is intriguing. So, where are we on the map? A village. Oh, why aren't we with Carla? Oh, whoa, okay. So, we are here... Man, this is so big. But I want to go to Carlac first. So, okay, guys, we got a lot of things to do. And I am unfortunately out of time for today. We are going to explore this village over here. I think it's been ransacked by something, and I'm worried about it. But we are also going to hunt down Carlac right over here. I really want to do that first, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to go ahead here. We're going to also go down here. This is so big. Once I finish the Walking Dead series, I'm going to focus a little bit more on the Baldur's Gate series. Maybe upload two times a week because it's just so big and I'm so enjoying it so far. So there will be more episodes coming sooner because it's just it's just huge <laughs> it's huge that's what she said anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy the episode well don't you forget to leave a like subscribe if you were some reason have not already and i guess i will see you in the next episode of baldur's gate see ya